Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 summer for four. So today guys We're gonna to talk to you guys about Barcelona transfers guys So we're gonna be discussing about Barcelona transfers in this video And so today we're gonna to be discussing about Victor Roque and Ilkay Gundogan This will be a short video guys probably around five to seven minutes ish So please remember to like this video if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new on here comment below your thoughts comment section below And yeah, like I said guys, let's try to aim for 20 likes this video guys We need to hit those likes man. I want to hit those likes and get these likes rolling so Please hit that like button, guys. 20 likes, please. Let's start with the first player, which we have here is Victor Roque. Victor Roque is a um, Brazilian player. He's currently playing at Atletico Paranaense, and they just won the league title last season, Copa Libertadores. He's been phenomenal for them. 18 years old, really good talent. He's a striker as well, which Barca really don't have. And we're trying to have a long-term replacement for uh, Luis Suarez, which we haven't found yet. You know, obviously Lewandowski is the current striker for Barca right now. However, as we're seeing right now in this current form, his form has been really, really off. He's not been scoring goals for us a lot recently, and we need a backup striker. We especially need a backup striker because in the event he's injured, in the event he's a spender, he's not available, whatever, we need a backup striker. And lately, our backup striker has been Ansu Fati, and we know he's been pretty off. So, you know, I really want to know, um, I think Victor Roque's a good player. Now, there is a lot of competition for him. A lot of European clubs are interested. I think Chelsea's interested, Arsenal's interested, and West Ham, I believe, is interested. He has $40 million. It's a really, really interesting deal. And I've seen him, guys. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. You know, I saw him and the Copa of the Doors in that game. Uh, was a few days ago. They, he scored against Atletico MG. And um, I just think that, for me, he's a bright young talent. And I think he could definitely help Barca's attack a lot and be that backup striker for us and hopefully be that long-term striker. My only concern, though, is that is this another Brazilian player that we're overhyping? You know, because we we have seen recently that a lot of Brazilian players recently, the young talents, have kind of somewhat underperformed. You know, I'm looking at Rafinha, for example. He's not really been great at Barcelona. We hyped him up so much in the summer window, and we all know he's been kind of a he's been kind of he's not been as good as we expected him to be. You know, then again, though, Real Madrid got Vinicius and Rodrigo from um, Flamengo. Uh, Vinicius came from Flamengo and he's been a success for them so maybe we have to give him time and let him adapt here to Barcelona and so like I said guys I'm for the move I think 40 million dollars is a good steal I think it's a brilliant brilliant deal but we have to act fast because there's a lot of clubs interested in him and he is a bright young talent so hopefully Barca can acquire him and um, he can be a uh, uh, Barca player in the future moving on the next player we have it is Ilkay Gundogan guys so this is a player that's currently set to leave Manchester City on a free, which is a steal for for us. You know, I think Ilkay Gundogan for me is a player that can offer us so much. Yes, he is pretty old. I believe he is 30 years old, I want to say. He's pretty old. I know he's at least 30. I have to double check what his age is. In fact, let me just actually do that right now. Gundogan is currently, he is currently um, 32 years old. That's my only issue with this signing is that it, it is a very, he is a very old player, you know, and we're not going to get a lot of years of out of him, you know, and, but the thing is, I think it could really help us in the short term, because lately, our midfield has been very injury prone, um, obviously, Pedri's been injured for a lot this season, uh, um, good amount of the season, obviously, Frank Young as well, he can also add the creativity to this team, he can add the goal scoring instinct that none of our midfielders really have, you know, none of our midfielders really know how to score goals, you know, I mean, Pedri does, but without Pedri, there isn't anyone else in this team that can score goals. And I think he's such an important player that he can add so much service into that. And I feel like he's a player that can add some goals into his game and also come up clutch in big games. Because we have seen it before, guys. When Manchester City need goals in those kind of crucial games, he always come up clutch. Remember what happened against Aston Villa last season when Manchester City were 2-0 down at home in the Premier League on the final match day. Manchester City needed to score three goals, and Ilkay Gundogan scored two of those three goals. And so I'm just saying is that I think Gundogan for me is a player that can add a lot for Barcelona, and I think he's a good player. My Like I said, though, as I said earlier, I think my only issue is that he is a bit too old. You know, he's very old, and we're not going to get a lot of years out of him. We're probably going to get like two or three years max with him. So I am, I am for this transfer, and it's especially on a free would be amazing. And like I said, guys, I think it would be a great, great addition to our midfield. So let me know what you guys think of the comments below of these transfers. And obviously, Messi also is... Rumor to return. I already did a video on the Messi return thing, and it's a separate video, so I'm not going to discuss that here. So I'll leave a link. I'll put in the play um the annotations there. You guys can check it out. I did a separate video on that. 
um and anyway so let me know what you guys think of these two players and do you think barca should go for them man so i hope you guys did enjoy like i said guys please hit that like button if you haven't already hit the subscribe button as well it really helps the channel grow we're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year and obviously comment up below your thoughts comments below consider become a member of the channel to get access to members videos and member streams and yeah i'll see you guys later man peace out